This afternoon, the father of a Forsyth County woman who died at a house party says his family does not believe the sheriff's office conclusion that her death was an accident. Tamala Hosford's death has gained international attention this month. Channel 2's Mike Wachenik is live at the sheriff's office, and Mike, the family, has hired its own pathologist, and they have a very different theory, even though police today closed the case. They did close the case, Joe Vita, and the family says their pathologist has different theories about some of the injuries on Hosford's body. The family says their fight for answers is not over. This exclusive video a source gave us shows Tamala Hosford in the last hours of her life last November at an adult sleepover birthday party at this Forsyth County home. The next morning, I'm guessing maybe she fell off the balcony. Partygoers found her dead. The homeowner called 911. We had people over last night when we were drinking. Most of us went to bed. One of them stayed on the balcony. She was drinking, and we just went out outside, and she's laying face down in the backyard. The state of Georgia medical examiner has ruled the death accidental and consistent with a fall. Wednesday, Forsyth County Sheriff's Major Joe Perkins announced a GBI-led autopsy found no signs of foul play. No evidence or injury patterns indicative of an assault. Hosford's father spoke to Atlanta DJ Ryan Cameron's radio show after the sheriff's announcement. Her injuries are not consistent with what they're saying. This is so fishy, I just don't want it to get out of hand. Her father says a pathologist they hired found injuries on Tamla's body they believe happened after she was already dead. They believe someone may have tossed her body off of the deck. Her wrist was cut. Uh, uh, the bone was broken. Where they say the body was, there was no blood pool. That means she was already dead. I reached out to the attorney for the homeowner, but have not heard back this afternoon. They previously called this a tragic accident and said everybody who was at that party was cooperative with detectives. Live in Forsyth County, Mike Pachinik, Channel 2 Action News. Mike, yesterday I know you mentioned the toxicology report could be coming soon. You know, some are saying that she was drunk and maybe that's how she fell off the balcony. What do you know about toxicology today? Well, we can tell you that the death certificate said that a contributing factor was alcohol poisoning in all this. The toxicology report is finished. We have filed an open records request for it, and the sheriff's office indicated to us they might release it as early as tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted, Jovita. All right, Mike Chenick in Forsyth County, thank you.